Hey guys, what's up? Danny and Alex here. In this video, I'm gonna show you some wrestling drills. You can do easy ones at home, whether you're solo or even training with your kids, while this quarantine period is lasting right now. Okay, so you guys can do some wrestling. This is applicable for mixed martial arts, no gi, jiu jitsu, of course. As you see, we're just wearing normal street clothing. So we're gonna show you three different things. One is gonna be for your cardio and agility. The other one is for your timing. And also the other one is gonna be kind of like a timing but game drill you can do two by two or like I said, with your kids, check it out. All right, everyone. So the first drill or exercise is gonna be pretty simple. All you need is just to place a piece of tape on the ground and a small area to practice in. So we understand a lot of people do jiu-jitsu, nogi wrestling, don't like to skip rope. And sometimes during confinement periods, we don't have a big space to train, but we still wanna work on our cardio. So today we're gonna to show you a very easy drill, cardio and agility. Um, you can do sets of, you know, time seconds, for example, 30 seconds at a time, or even one minute, take a break, and then do another minute, or sometimes just do it for two minutes straight and get a good burn in your calves. Okay, so I'm gonna have Alex show you the first exercise. All he's doing is keeping his feet together, and now he's gonna start to jump. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you're gonna do this nonstop for either like reps, time, maybe get a stopwatch, do it for 30 seconds, or sometimes if you're starting out, just do it for 10 seconds, okay? If you have little kids, have them do this for 10 seconds and challenge them not to step onto the line, okay? So one more time, just for an example, you're gonna go one, two, and just jump it over. So if you're counting, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. And if you're just doing time sets, put a stopwatch on, do it for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, or even for a bigger challenge, you can go up to two minutes at a time. Okay, that's the first one. The second one, it's really good for agility and cardio. He's gonna stand to the side like this. He's gonna keep his feet together, and now he's gonna jump laterally, side to side, over the line, right? So one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Okay, so side jumps now, lateral jumps or hops. Okay, and then the last one is now gonna do back from back or crisscrosses, okay, over the line. So now, again, challenge the kids not to step on the line. So once again, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we keep going until we reach the amount of reps or the time period for the exercise. These are three easy drills you guys can practice um, during this period. We just need a tape. If you don't have tape, just place a rope or a belt or just an imaginary line and just keep skipping. By having a piece of tape, it's better because if your kids always keep pushing on the belt or the rope, it's always gonna have to reset. By having a piece of tape, if they make a mistake and they step on it, it remains exactly where it was and there's no danger for them to kind of like trip over the rope, for example, all right? <laughs> Now, we're gonna move on to the second drill you guys can practice. This one will require a partner, but now we're gonna do a game because wrestling and jiu-jitsu, mixed martial arts or nogi, is really about reaction time and timing. So this little game is a cool game you can do with your kids or two adults together as well, right? So we're gonna be facing each other. We get either a staggered stance, which is this type of stance, or a neutral, or sometimes referred to as a square stance. It doesn't really matter, okay? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the knee tap drill. So my goal is to touch Alex's knee on the left or right side, and of course he's gonna try to do the same. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just do a little demo, like five, 10 seconds, okay? So let's go. So that's the first level. And then you could start challenging yourself on the second level is we're gonna start having contact. So when we do it like this, what happens is people start to run away. They don't always face each other like we just did. So to prevent that now, before we touch the knee, we have to have contact on the upper body. So it could start out as such, one hand just touching the shoulder. It could be on the head, around the neck, what we call collar and tie position, just from here or inside tie. It could be double inside bicep control. It doesn't really matter. As long as you're touching your partner and he does the same, and that's where we start the game. All right, so if we're here, we do the same thing. Ready? And you get the idea, right? So it's just a small game to work on that timing, backstepping, down blocking, and whatnot.
All right, now on the last drill we want to show you guys, this is an easy one, okay? So it won't look like much when you're watching this on your TV or on your phone, but trust me, this is good because combat sports is all about timing. We need the physicalities of having good endurance, strength, power, explosiveness, and speed, but we also need quick timing, the reaction time of seeing something come after us. For example, if we use wrestling for someone to take me down, he has to grab my legs whether it's a single, double leg, high crotch, whether he's going for a sweep single, outside singles, it doesn't really matter. He has to touch my legs. He has to grab my knee, okay? Ankle picks or whatnot. So what we're gonna do now is a slight timing drill. And this exercise has the sole purpose of, let's say for example, you're at home and you don't have a willing partner. So for example, maybe your girlfriend or your kids or your wife, they don't train in the same sport as you do. So having them do certain drills in the kitchen, sometimes they don't know how to position themselves or whatnot. So you can have them do a small timing drill, which during this confinement period will help your speed and your reaction, okay? So all you're gonna do is this. You're gonna be kneeling. I'm gonna show you guys how it works in a second. But I'm gonna be like this, like in a wrestler's stance, okay? My hands are in a T-Rex position, elbows in, and my palms are facing my opponent at all times. I don't want my hands dangling like this. Always ready to stop okay, and down block. And the moment I see my partner just fake something, I have to touch the mat, touch the mat. Or sometimes both hands are gonna touch the mat. This will represent, let's say for example, when I start to sprawl against a double leg. So I'm gonna be here, touch, 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 okay? So down blocking on one side, down blocking on the other, or positioning myself for sprawls. So, like I said, it doesn't look like much, but this exercise will slowly build that timing. And this is good for younger kids as well to just have them get that reaction speed of left to right or both hands on the mat, okay? So we're gonna do a small round here, maybe like five, 10 seconds for you guys to see how it works. So Alex is gonna be facing me and I'll be here, all right? So you ready, Alex? Hands off the mat, okay? T-Rex wrestler's position. So this represents I'm gonna go for the single leg. Also on this side. And this will represent I'm going for the shot or the double leg position, which he'll block, all right? So here, he doesn't know which one's coming. And we'll just keep going. And once again, you can do a game where you set your timer for 60 seconds. And we say, how many times have you blocked the shot or the single? And then I'll do my turn and he does the same and then Whoever did scores, for example, if he didn't react correctly, that's one point for me. He has to do a push-up at the end of the round, right? So you can challenge yourselves like that. So these are little wrestling or no-gi games you can do at home. All right, guys, thanks again for watching our video. And leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of content. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't so already. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.